Hey guys, Voracious Victory Bell here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Newborn. Last time we beat Lumi and Eve, finally. And today, I'm gonna go heal. Oh wait. Yeah, we're, we, I forgot they uh, they healed us after that fight. Yeah, so I want to know if I can leave. That is my primary concern right now. So what happens if we go this way? Like, what's over here? Uh, what? This place is so big suddenly. Oh, okay. I went in a circle. Well, if we go this way, it leads back here. And if I go down, it won't let me leave. Okay. What if I go like down, then down again? Oh, now we're, oh, now we're back here. Okay. Is anybody here? No one's here. All right, can I leave? Still can't leave. Okay. <laughs> Has to be expected from Terra. So let's just keep looking around, I guess. Uh, oh. Oh no, so Charlotte and Sephira did win. That's too bad. <laughs> Not that I hate them. I was just kind of rooting for Julia and, uh, and Shelly. That means the character files got deleted. What did you do? Nothing over here either. Oh, you're out too. Sorry, I had to close something. <laughs> it took you long enough. Proper procedure cannot be rushed if desired results are to be attained. They expected you to be the next anyway. Yeah, those girls are cute and all, but let's be real. No! They were never going to win! More importantly, did something happen to them after the match? Oi! Yeah, so Hardy and Rydamus won to be expected. Do you guys see what happened? It was the same for you all too, right? Sorry, I, I have to recalibrate to Hardy's voice, which changes, every, which changes every time. All flicker, no ticker. Yeah. Can we do something? There's nothing to do. I jump straight through. Shit. What is this? Is this Charlotte speaking, or is this Tara? No response. No anything. Kind of shocked me. Oh, she said Shelly, but the name didn't appear. That's really funny. <laughs> kind of shocked me, though. Whether that's metaphorically or literally is up to you. Where's Radimus? He hung back to talk to... Noel. Oh, no! Made him promise not to be too long, though. So no sweat about that. The aforementioned notion, while socially pleasant, remains irrelevant to the current priority among concerns. Let the man speak to his son. Another concern, there's no exits from this area either. We just checked while you all were taking your time. And if that's happening to every loser, this sitch is a whole lot messed... A whole lot more messed up than we first thought, huh? Man, I feel bad about pressing the matter against that kid and... Sarah. Maybe we should, uh, come to a draw? The overseeing party previously stated that participants falling to display, failing to display a proper amount of effort would be addressed regardless. Hypothesis, the outcome will be identical to that of subjects that are defeated. So she's saying that getting as high somehow would, uh, would get you all frozen. Then what are we supposed to do? Start by not asking stupid questions. There is no supposed to in this situation. Don't act like this is a pre-written scenario with a scripted guaranteed outcome. Decide what you want to do, then do it. That's all there is to it. Easier said than done, since we can't leave. I already know what I want to do. I want to save Aya. And just how do you plan to do that? I'll take down everyone in Team Meteor. That's nice, but nobody's still with Team Meteors even here right now, since we can't find or get to... Kaku McAnouncer face. So are you going to mow us all down just to get out of here and save your precious damsel? Is she really worth that much more to you than all of us here? I, he never said she was. I'm almost hurt. Oi, lass, it ain't like that. I made a promise that I'd save her, and I'm gonna stick to it no matter what. If you got a better solution, let's hear it. Ha. Huh. A better solution? Sure, I've got a better solution. How about my sis and I just beat you all and move on with it? Wait, so is this a whole tournament or not? I thought it was just like, like half of us get to, get to move on. Are there more? Oh no, do we have to fight the other pairs? That means we, that means theoretically we have to fight like, uh, just about everybody left, except for one pair. 
As long as we're together, none of you stand a chance. And frankly, it's not our business what happens to you. Sephira is more than capable of taking Team Meteor apart herself, and I just gotta be there to see it. You sure you ain't gonna fall off that pedestal you put yourself on? Maybe if you make me, why are we arguing? What's your deal? This is normal for us. We're used to being alone against the world. You, you're the ones that <laughs> framed it that way. Our strength has always been our ability to have each other's backs when the world turns on us. Hey, whatever happened to Laura and Bennett? I just realized they're not here. And the world must always keep turning. Conflict remains inadvisable for discovery of escape from the situation. Oh, but it is so fun, isn't it? This is the most excitement I've had since I got to see the doctor up close and personal under the lens of a cigarette burn. Wait, did she go to look at the, the doctor? You wouldn't take that away from me, would you? Victoria's here. What did I tell you all? This whole thing was exactly what I said. We know. You're so late to the party. Charlotte and Sephira are being kind of toxic right now. <laughs> They're a bad influence on each other. It took you long enough, though. I'm almost surprised you got over yourself enough to stop bickering and start battling. But I guess that just goes to show you how limp your competition was. Don't... Were you always this catty? Pretty much. I had a reason to at least play nice before. But now? Hey, crazy lady in the shell, you're still listening, right? What? Yes up? That's right. I'm always watching. Like Sandy Claus. Or Ceiling Cat. My middle name is Seize You When You're Fappin'. <laughs> I'm getting bored. Can we keep going already? Can we? Gee willikers, that's like asking if water is wet. If Pikachu is an electric type. If Victoria wears granny panties. Uh um. Of course we can keep going. The power of closed circles compels you. Oh, wait, zero, 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 zero. I bet you feeling so compelled right now. So compelled, wild Pokemon won't come near you. Hey, LMAO. You're thinking of repel. So compelled, you're being launched forward by a spinning motion. A hey, LMAO. The aforementioned den denotation remains in reference to the verb propel. So compelled, you go and descend a rock face using basic but effective safety gear. A hey, LMAO. Party. That one's to rapple? So compelled, you're just gonna keep going. <laughs> so compelled. You an unconsolidated sediment rich in bitumenous, I don't know what that word is, junk, and primarily made of algae and decomposed fungi, A hey, LMAO. Um, that would be sapropyl. I don't know what that is. Oh, Aratimus. She. I hope I haven't kept anyone waiting. <laughs> My love. But forsooth, nary had I waited here. Uh, eon upon eon for you, Uwu, my true love to return. How's my Gardevoir impression, eh? Ooh, that's brutal. Eh? I'm afraid I haven't heard one, so I can hardly evaluate it. But surely we aren't here for party tricks and comedy. Yeah, but you still comic relief, though. You looked in a mirror lately? No, I haven't. Yeah, she's digitized now. Because I'm more made of digital. Yeah, exactly. It's like I said. Rawr. But that means I ain't got cramps no more. So booyah, bitch. Not the point. Disappoint. Ooh, so pointy. Now that every pony is here, it's time to did it did it did it did it did it to announce the next round. We do have to fight the others. I'm surprised. So, like, what's going to happen to everybody else? <laughs> Is it just going to be Florinia and I taking on Team Meteor in the end? Please turn your attention to the screen in the middle of the screen. Oh, we're fighting Victoria and Cal next. Okay. Or not? Oh, we're fighting each other. Oh, that's a bummer. We're 
fighting our partners from the last round? You got it, dude. You said this was a doubles tournament. Uh, yeah? Now it's a double crossing tournament. Ding, 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 rawr. Well, shit. Yeah, where are your tough talk at now, home slice? Yeah, you got me. Truly, I could not be any more gotten than I am right now. As if. This just means I'll be counting on Sephira to KO everyone herself instead of with my help. Right? Oh, Sephira doesn't want to be Charlotte. So then it's you and me, old man. I may be the oldest one here, but I assure you, I am as young, as heart, as any of you. Aren't you concerned about your son who got deleted? <laughs> Tell it to the courts, buddy. So, uh, <laughs> Cal, like, you come here often? I guess only one of us is coming out of this after all. Yeah. I did try to warn you all, but this is what everyone wanted, so here we are. In our defense, we didn't have any other choice. <laughs> The problem was that we all piled into one building. So, no use playing side about it now, right? The only way the only way is forward, right? I'll see you on the field. Well, don't just stand there and mope about it, Polkaronis. These battles ain't gonna fight themselves. That'd be cool, though. Charlotte, after all, we have uncomfortable demises yet to rush to. <laughs> Woo. We don't gotta sound so resigned to it. We all still gotta fight to hang in there. Hello? You know who I'm up against? All I can do is resign, like three times over. Same with all of you in the end, unless you find another exit. Or make one. But these walls don't so much as dent. We tried. These walls be stronger than steel. Even back when it still resisted psychic and ghost. Oh, right. <laughs> well, it was dark and ghost. <laughs> Balance team a chunky thought, but really, you can't break those cuffs. They mistresses best. What? Just ask her if she were in this bitch, but she ain't. Deets, though, ain't no thing. There's a fly here. Oh, I think I got it. I did get it. Okay, cool. I wonder if I'll keep it in the episode. Now, who wants to listen to my Lieutenant Surge X Nandu fanfic that sounds extremely cursed? It was a dark and horny night. Tired from a long and hard winky face day of work, busting a nut up on Team Skull. Officer Nandu sensually stripped off his uniform, revealing his smooth, lanky body before ape aggressing. Uh, what's that word? In his shower, as the water... Well, how much of this are you going to do? As the water poured over his chiseled nine-pack, he reminisced about the good old days when his ex-husband, Guzma... If you don't know who he is, get the hell out of here. As, how much of this do you remember? Did the passionate nights they shared together, a pang of loneliness shot through him, like a well past kidney stone. Suddenly, his sole roommate, Lieutenant Serge, knocked on the bathroom door with all the enchantingly sexy force of a seasoned Rarmy veteran. Steam thrust out like a newly freed erection as Nanu opened the curtain to hear his friend's deep, raspy voice. You almost done in there, honey? Mode Lieutenant Surge. Everyone's living one by one. <laughs> I need to relieve myself. Nanu couldn't help but feel the scalding water of the shower felt cold in comparison to the hot uh, heat between his hot legs. Wait, guys. Guys, where are you going? Guys, come back. How come they waited that long? Guys, no. Guys! Rawr! Shit. Okay, maybe next round then. I guess. <laughs> what is even going on anymore? Alright, well, we have the same resources as before. We got common candies. Now we're going in here, okay? Cal, what's up? I'm not sure which is better, her being paired with me or her having to fight me. I mean, obviously fighting each other isn't good, but as much as she's protesting this tournament, I bet she'll be jumping at the chance to knock me out. Not just out of the running, but out of her life. But the stakes have always been high, I suppose. There's no choice but to steal oneself and face them as resolutely as we can. Ah, uh, when I think of it like that, I realize that she won't be able to win. 
Really? Wait, I realize I won't be able to win. I know what I need to do now. Oh? But first, I'll need some peace. You're gonna beat Victoria? I'm fully expecting Victoria to win. <laughs> Personally. Anybody over here? Oh yeah, so one thing. Uh, this does mean that Victoria has to take out Metacham herself, since Metacham is on his team. <laughs> uh, someone pointed out in the Discord, uh, you can actually, when you're fighting with Cal, with Cal on like Amitrine Mountain, he can actually use uh, Metacham in battle. I don't know if we ever encountered that or not. Another trial remains yet necessary. The operation may prove redundant, accepting the confounding variable of field variance. Still, a consistent outcome to prior trials may prove the most eff the efficacious approach. Procedural standards necessita necessitate the thorough and genuine application of effort and elements within the given scenario. Aren't you a little sad you have to fight me? The architectural features of this building appear to change based on the perception of the individuals within it. Hypothesis, the appearance of this building is itself based solely in perception, similar to the concept of sliding doors in residential architecture that allow areas to be restructured. This place may primarily utilize augmented holograms. Further investigation is required. What if this is all just a hologram that we're going through and nobody else? Is that possible? Charlotte, do you ever have a feeling like, somehow, among everything out there in the great and vast universe, among all the stars and the infinite possibilities, you, in particular, are fucked? <laughs> because I know I am. <laughs> See ya, soldier. It's been fun, or something. Yeah, she has to go fight Sephira. Not only is Sephira the strongest gym leader, uh, Dragon resists fire. What was it I had said before? Let us presume to hope. I have been presuming hope for such a long time already, but hope without action is no hope at all. An action without heart will always be hopeless, and a heart without hope has to start somewhere. Radimus has had a long day as well. Alright, uh, I guess we'll do it. I mean, preparing for this fight shouldn't be that hard. I'm actually not concerned about Florinia, because I know her whole team already. I know a lot of their moves. Uh, it really just depends on the field effect. I would like to think they wouldn't make us fight her on desert again, because I'd be kind of lame. It would be a nice throwback, though. Um, we should bring we should bring fifty Tyson for the throwback. <laughs> I'll do it. Uh, grass is strong against Swampert, so get him out of here. <laughs> this has the potential to be very funny. But yeah, this is actually a pretty good team for fighting a, a grass type gym leader, right? We got bug, we got flying, fire, and fire. We're in pretty good shape here. Uh, oh yeah, so I, I redid my items. So Trixie has assault vest back. Uh, Carla has her Ampharosite. Macargo has nothing. Uh, Heracur Knight, Life Orb. Life Orb would have been very useful in that last fight, but never mind that. Grass DMZ, we're probably not going to use that. <laughs> that would be a mistake, I think. Do we have ground DMZ actually? I thought we did, actually. We do have it. Although grass resists ground, so maybe it's not even worth it. Alright, let's do leftovers. Then again, Cradilly takes neutral damage to ground, so it's fine. Roll with it. Alright, I made some adjustments to the team. I actually decided to bring Azura, uh, after all, as a water type, because I remembered... Therenia uses two ground types, so we got Azura as backup with a Sparkling Aria and Ice Beam. I am keeping 50 Tyson for now. <laughs> uh, he's got Strength, which I can probably afford to get rid of, and Shell Smash. I'll keep Strength for now, though. It's not a big deal. Let me save. <laughs> Here we go again. Now it's purple. Welcome, Lediba, Gentle Muck, and non binical identifying individuals to the next round of the Labradora Grand Tournament of that good cooch. <laughs> the Wheel of Fate is turning. 
Rebel 2, Phyto. On the left. His money laundering is so out of control, people call him up for dry cleaning. His history is shadier than Reborn's ghost leader. That's a good meme. It's 7 o'clock and he does not know where his children are. It's Rardamus Van Halen. Yes, yes, you're very clever. She actually is. <laughs> Thanks, you. And on the right. His songs may be eight tracks, but his mind is the only one. It's the man with the personality of a rock and the... Wait. Shit, that was the punchline. Um, ignore that, because it's hard on Anderson. <laughs> Yo, old man. I know you got kids to look out for and all that. I feel bad for him too, but I can't back down from this one. That's just as well. Oi, Hatman. Don't tell me you're going soft now, mate. We both gotta fight our best for this one, you heard it? On the contrary. For better or worse, my reasons to fight only continue to compound. Nevertheless, I have a rather strong distaste for putting others in harm's way, for my own purposes. Yeah, but this ain't our fault. Blame the announcer, wench. Excuse you. I am not just some wench. I am the wettest of wenches. And I refuse to be referred to by any other name. Make it rain, bitch. Fill that field up with that sweet wenchy water. Okay, now stop that. I have no intentions of getting hung up on something as trivial as blame. I am only reminding myself of the past, of a time when I was not afraid of what consequences would befall others as a result of my actions. It is not a time I hold dear, but whether it is right or wrong, those who are depending on me will require me to fight for them now. It is perhaps a necessary evil of parenthood. It ain't evil. That resilience is what makes us human. I lose my voice already. <laughs> There's a lot of cutscenes in this, uh, this Labradora arena. You may be right. I see that, contrary to our overseer's comments, you possess quite a bit of your own wisdom. I guess even dumb rocks sometimes have good stuff in them, eh? Indeed. We would not be in this mess otherwise. But enough of that. Let us test our humanity against each other's. I'm actually not sure who will win. I'm guessing Hardy. Meanwhile, back at the ranch dressing. It's a sister smackdown. A bell rose blowout battle. An all orphan encounter. Can little Charlotte slay the dragon of her sister, or is this dragon about to be dragged off? This isn't going to be a match. Agreed, I forfeit? What? Oh, no, you didn't, girl. Didn't you hear what you. what would happen if you didn't fight? Give us a show. Or else. Rawr. And just what is it to you? It's everything. My whole life has led up to this moment. All I ever wanted was just to see you fight more, Safira. All my time in circus was dedicated just to trying to be half as entertaining as you are, Safira. Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. My love. Won't you please do it? For me? No. Fuck. If she's immune to my allure as a woman, whatever am I supposed to do? Answer the question. I don't wanna. Rawr. Okay, new plan. You wouldn't. That's in contradiction to the rules you've already established. Do I look like I care about rules to you? Jeez, millennials. I'm personally offended that you would even suggest that I could ever be that kind of person. What do I look like to you? Blowbot? Cringe. Darkest, deepest, moistest cringe. If either of you forfeits, the other one will be punished. Simple, biznitch. So Sephir has to fight, no matter what. No. What do you mean, no? You're gonna get Charlotte frozen. Don't pretend like I have a better shot at it than you do. This is the most practical approach. We aren't sure if the punishment will be different or worse, but we know what happens to the loser, so it's safer to fight. It's not complicated. This is wrong. Oh, and now you decide it's wrong? <laughs> After sounding off earlier? <laughs> that you're gonna beat all of us? Everything is wrong. Don't let your sentimentality jeopardize this. 
You're the only hope I have for moving forward. It's been that way for years. Gay. So gay it made the field gay too. Rainbow field? <laughs> if you win, <laughs> if you win, you can go on and save me. And if you lose, you save me that way. Assuming I make it out of the next rounds, anyway. Who else is in this again? A rock type gym leader and Sean, who I already lost to once. Gotta say, my odds aren't looking too good here. And what if we both were to be stuck here? You know what, what we have to do. No choice but to fight. Next up in the Raw Arena. It's couples therapy, the breakup bonanza, a divorce court combat contention. Enough. Cal and Victoria Whitaker face off for a final separation struggle. Sadly. Crying emoji. Only one of them can walk away from this sordid love affair. <laughs> Who will it be? <laughs> the different faces. Victoria, stop acting like we were ever a thing. Oh boy. I do you even know about any of that? I know lots of stuff. Colon 3. Like, duh. Middle name sees you when you're... fat bin? What? Wait, what is her middle name? Ring any bells? Oh yeah, that's right, that was from earlier. Jeez, it's like kids these days just skip all the dialogue instead of actually paying attention to the story. That doesn't answer the question. Raffle Mao, you don't answer the question. Got him! Listen, Victoria, I... Nope. <laughs> you wanted to do this tournament, and so we'll do it. And don't get any ideas about whatever nonsense that lady is spewing. That was in the distant past, and that part of me is long gone. I don't think he is concerned about that right now. <laughs> whatever positive feelings I had for you were completely lost the second I found out you had worked for Team Meteor. Am I clear? That's not... I was just going to say... Good, glad you got it. Hey, self-proclaimed omniscient being... Yes. Give us our field and let's get on with it already. Victoria also being kind of toxic. <laughs> I'm tired of looking at this person's face. I thought you'd never ask. No, really, I didn't think anyone would ask. Appreciate you, BBG. For your kind inclusion and benevolent initiative. I blesseth thee with thou is holiest of fields. Oh, holy field. I want this over with. Let's go. Is that your patience? I'm not here to be patient. I'm here to finish this. Is that your sound judgment? There's no judgment to be made here. Stop asking questions like you have the moral high ground here. What do you know? I know I'm not about to get hung up waiting for someone who is about to sell a pawful out, even if you did flip back. Is that what Kiki wants? Oh shit. Cal, you shouldn't you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> you pressed the Kiki button. Don't you dare speak her name. You're not fit to even think about Kiki anymore. Would she agree with you? Thanks to you, she's not here to do so. Which matters more, the past or the present? The present depends on the past, and you already messed both up. Is your anger the way forward? This isn't about me. Everything is about you. That is why you have no way forward. Is that a challenge? It's a circumstance. So, so Cal was saying earlier, he's actually uh, resolved to win. Against Victoria. Only the winner moves on, and as you are right now, you are incapable of defeating me. You've lost control. We've all lost control here. If we hadn't, we wouldn't be fighting each other for God knows what stupid, contrived reason, when we should be fighting Team Meteor. Nothing in the world outside of you can take away your control of yourself. Nothing in the world outside of you can take away your control of yourself. We, each for reasons of our own, forfeit that control willingly. Funny. Do you think you're clever trying to use her lessons to hurt me? I will show you the way back. By force, as you seem to wish. Fine with me. Well, damn, alright. Ah. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> Florinia, what do you have to say to us? And for our forward round of the, of the match... Okay. Who again? Faces off against Save Scum McGee. Alright, I don't, I don't like Tara anymore. <laughs> the speaker laments the circumstances necessitating the upcoming trial. Nevertheless, they have been deemed necessary by the operational subject group. 
accordingly, let us begin. Oh my god, stop! I have been up here trying to hype up this tournament all day, and you just come up here like... <laughs> what was that sound effect? Also, look at the, the board. Uh, it looks like our face is uh, on top of someone else's. That's kind of weird, right? It's like Hardy's face. Hello. I am a program voiced by Microsoft Sam. I have no personality and nothing interesting to say. <laughs> I fell asleep 14 times just in those three lines alone. Rawr! Okay, new plans, guys. Free field dialogue is cancelled. You get a glitch field because you're a goddamn robot. Oh, goddammit. <laughs> okay, now get to it. But no boring shit. I'm watching you. Very well. Hypothesis, subject's ability remains abundant enough for conclusive success. Expected outcome, Sean victory. Well, damn, alright. Oh, gym leader theme. It's here. <laughs> 